welcome back to Phoenix Garage. Fans, um, I'm sorry it's been a while. It's just been a lot going on. Uh, getting the transmission was a big, a big task. Uh, thank the guy who uh, brought it down and delivered it to me. That guy was he's incredible. He's done a lot for this project and I thank him very much for it. Uh, I'd like to show exactly where I'm at, my progress, what I'm doing, where I'm at, and uh, what exactly is going on. Um, a little bit of an explanation of why it's been taking so long also. So, well, I'll, I'll turn the camera around and I'll start explaining everything around you and see if uh, you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so here's the, the car where when we left off the last time, I had this part of the car in and I had this transmission was in there. Now it's basically all there. I've got the automatic transmission bolted in. Uh, I haven't got it started yet, which is one thing I'm probably gonna do on camera so everybody can see, but not today. I got a lot of the, the wiring in. I do, I do have a lot of questions about the wiring. If there are people out there that have the Mitsubishi Eclipse, uh, 2G Eclipse uh, with the uh, uh, 4D64, and um, they have this they have this transmission to the four. I'll uh, see. I'll show you right here. It's the F4A23. You see, and there's all these wiring. This came out of a 1999 transmission uh, car, so uh, same car as mine, just the 1999. And I know, like, like these wires here. This is for the uh, mass airflow. That's not a problem. Um, there is this wire here, which I'm not too sure where exactly it goes. Uh, I got every other wire on the transmission connected. I mean, I, I checked everything on the transmission and there's no real spot for it to go. So if you have one of these or you're part of the group and you're just, you know exactly where this green connector, black and green connector goes, it would be very helpful. I don't know if I'm missing something or maybe on the 99 it had a different option and I don't have that on this one. So that's why it's not connected and I can just lock it off. I can just tape it off and not use it. But if I do need to use it and I need to get that part, well, I can probably change out the part that I got for another part that actually does fit. You know, like I, like, like these parts here. You see this on the 1997, it has this, but on the 1999 harness, it doesn't have the connection for it which is odd, but I figured this is just a uh, warm up the air basically that's going in here during winter starting. And I'm never driving this car in the winter, so I really don't care about that. I'm probably just gonna buy a block off plate and block that off. So that's not a big deal. Unless I can buy a carburetor, like I can buy this in, this throttle body that had it without it for about the same price as that block off plate. Then I'd do that, it would look a lot more cleaner. Uh, I still have the um, yeah, that's where my last video came, where I was showing exactly how I did this. This is the, basically, I deleted the cold, uh, the, uh, cruise control, and I put in just a regular cable. That's fine. I got that done and taken care of. Uh, I have it past here. Like, if I got it past, right, basically around this part over here, and I got it bolted in like that. I still got to do some adjustments once it started. Once I get the car running, but other than that, she's fine. I got, I got, I need to figure out where I want to pass this wire. I'm, what I may just do is just tape it, like not tape it, but uh, zip tie it to this part or try to get it to fit like this inside here. All I need is that it doesn't rub on anything. And right now it's not, you see like the wire passes through here into the firewall down around over here and then over into the thing so it's not touching anything so it's pretty much safe where it is i just got to make sure that it's not going to be bouncing around whenever it's uh the car's running and driving i got all this i, I taped my wiring harness with a uh, purple hockey tape and i but i left all the original uh, wrapping there like if you could see like on this one this part see like the black Wrapping is still there. It's just, I wrapped it in the purple duct tape, um, hockey tape. Just gives it a better look. And once I wash it with the degreaser, all this dirt will come off it. It'll wash off. Uh, it'll be nice. Uh, I left all the original wrapping and everything there. 
Uh, I gotta do take that wire that comes off the uh, this fuse box. There's this wire that comes here that has this connection on it. I don't know where that goes. I can't remember where. I think it's on the power side, but I'll connect it. And um, but I'll, before I do that, I'll connect. I'll wrap it in the purple uh, hockey tape. I have like two more rolls at home. You buy them for cheap. They're like two dollars or less even sometimes uh, on uh, the website I got it on. I can link it if anybody's interested and do so they can have it too. Uh, other than that, uh, I got a lot of ground wires to find and connect. Got one there, I got one back here that's just dangling uh, between that, uh, whatever that is there, the um, vacuum control modules. Um, uh, the other thing I'd like to do is uh, get somebody to send me maybe a, co a copy or whatever of their vacuum passage, like how they passed all their vacuum lines and other things. I don't know if this is correct or not, and I really don't want a vacuum problem with my car. So that's that, and then I have a, uh, this is the um, cruise, uh, not cruise control, sorry. This is the power steering pump. It's not in. I got the... Uh, I got the um, starter uh, tensioner in. I, I bought that off of a gentleman. I still have to send money. I will Friday for sure, guaranteed. Um, and I thank him very much. I was very, very helpful. But the power steering pump, uh, I don't have it in yet because I got a, there was a broken bolt on it when I got it, uh, when it came with the car. And uh, that's been giving me an issue since. So I got a drill it out and everything else of that um the in for the interior as you can see right now it's pretty much of a mess uh he's taken a lot of it apart so what i, I want to i need to put in the so that little module under the steering wheel there that little bob gray silver box there that's the tcm that ha i didn't know that had to go in first and then i had to put the ecu in on top of it so I put the ECU in first, not knowing, and now I gotta take out the ECU. And if anybody's ever worked with those, they know that those things are a mess. So that's not fun at all, but it got done. Uh, the other thing is I was going with the, I, I was using a YouTube video and uh, at, uh, 802 Garage, and um, they told me that the non-turbo, manual and uh, automatic um Thanks. guess the plate that goes between the transmission and the engine are the same you can use exactly the same one but i don't see how because you can't put the starter in uh because of the when you put the top bolt on the starter it actually hits the plate so i'm gonna have to drill out the plate if i want to reuse this plate which i'm, I'm not taking the transmission out again a third time so yeah that was fun but yeah uh if you guys have any any information that I could use or anything uh, that would be uh, very, very helpful. Well, the phone died because uh, I guess I was low on battery. So, um, like I was just saying, if you uh, are watching this video and you have any advice, any information that you may be able to give me and uh, help me out with that, uh, just where the connectors are, uh, where they go or where the plugins go and uh, things like that. Or if you're interested in knowing any more uh, more information about things that I've done on the car, uh, I can help you. That I can help you out with. That would be a pleasure for me to help you out. Uh, other things, if you've noticed um, things that I haven't noticed, uh, just let me know. I would be grateful to know exactly what's going on. Again, I'd also like to, to shout out to people that have helped me out throughout this build. Um, they've helped me out greatly, and uh, those people know who they are. Um, I'd like to thank them a lot. They've been a great help for me. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, if you uh, like this video, please, uh, give a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the like button, and please don't hesitate to check out my Instagram at Phoenix Garage on Instagram. And, uh, if ever, uh, you have any other interests or anything else, um, about the car uh would be uh my pleasure to help you out and if you have any information to help me out i would be grateful also all right well see you soon